What's up guys, welcome back into the YouTube channel. Obviously you can tell we're in a whole different area. My house is just over there, but behind me you can see we have a behemoth of a truck. So a lot of you guys know I work with semis on a regular basis and technically this isn't a semi, but it is a big freaking truck. It is a GMC C6500. We're gonna do a little overview of it. Um, this truck is for sale. If you guys have any questions, um, I can give you all the information on it. Um, we actually have a website that I'll probably link down in the description. You guys can go check everything out on it. But like I said, it's a C6500. It's two wheel drive. It'd be awesome if it was four wheel drive because then it's basically a certified monster truck at that point. Because I mean, look at the girth. I mean, it's just, it's massive. Let me tell you, driving this thing for the last day, I really want it, but I know my fiance will probably kill me because we have a wedding coming up and buying a truck like this, what am I gonna do? I mean, I could toss my gooseneck on it and tow everything, I mean everything with it, but yeah, we don't, well, I guess my only problem is is I have a 25 foot gooseneck and I can only fit one truck on there. If I had a 40 footer, then we could fit all the trucks on there, no problem, we just all load up on this or in this thing and take off to wherever God sends us. So, like I said guys, this is a C6500. Underneath, we are packing a cat. Um, we'll get to that, I'll pop the hood and everything, but follow me, Jimmy, let's do a little walk around. So guys, like I said, C6500, nice heavy duty, all around truck. Got these nice steps. It's got the dual fuel tanks on both sides. It is a crew cab model, tow mirrors, all LED lights. We have a nice heavy duty CM flatbed on it with the headache rack, with the LED lights built in, the gooseneck. Um, I mean, this thing is a solid, solid rig. I mean, it's not going anywhere. You have tie downs here in the back of the bed already, which is nice. Like I said, you do have the gooseneck. And the guy we got this off of, I believe, haul a race car trailer. Um, so it's pretty much set up for that. You have your research down here. Um, that's about all I can say for the flatbed part of it. Little toolbox here on the side. Again, the dual fuel tanks over here. We do have the new style tow mirrors with the turn um, LEDs out here. And I'm gonna show you something cool on the inside once we get in there. It actually ties into these. Everything, like I said, all the way around the truck is LEDs. We have LED headlights, the turn signals, the lights on the bed are LEDs, uh, the roof lights. They're the only thing that is still like the, I don't even know what the amber, just factory style lighting. Uh, uh, we did a flat black here on the grill portion of it with the nice red GMC. The rest of the truck is a gloss black. There's not a speck of rust on the truck. Obviously the hood is fiberglass. There's no cracks um, in the hood. It's a pretty solid rig. So like I said, we'll go ahead and pop the hood, get it open, and we'll kind of talk about what's the power plant. Like I said, a cat, it's a 3126. It's right at like a 300, 330 horsepower rated motor. Backing that is the Allison transmission. So this thing shifts amazing. And we'll throw in a couple clips. We're gonna be driving around today, taking on a little road cruise and stuff. So I can actually give you guys an honest review on this thing and give you my honest feedback. But like I said, it's a 3126. It is turbocharged, everything underneath here, I mean, Jim, come get up close. Just you guys can see how clean everything is. No major oil leaks anywhere. It just needs a good pressure washing because, like I said, I have been driving it, so it's a little dirty, but nothing major. Like I said, it's got the Allison transmission behind it, so it does shift amazing. It gets at the speed, no problems. Um, it being the heavy duty truck, it is a little bumpy. I'm going to be honest going down the road. But we are, these are the 19.5 uh, wheel and uh, tire combo. So it, it's got the bigger bigger uh, wheel on there. So it's gonna be a little more bouncy going down the road. The suspension's a little stiff on it, but that's no, I mean, I'm not complaining for a rig this size. Um, I've 
obviously you throw a trailer whatever on the back it's probably going to smooth out the ride a little bit but no big deal um, i definitely want to show you guys the cool factor of the inside so enough out here let's jump on the inside Alrighty guys, so obviously we are in the cab of the Behemoth Beast. Um, if you take a close look at the dash, you guys might wonder, well, you said that's a 2000. Yes, it is a 2000, but it's got the 90 to 94 style dash set up in here. Um, it's got the retro style gauges, and you guys won't believe it, it's only got 184,000 miles on the old beast, so it's barely broken in. Um, you can tell there's a lot of red going on in here. We got the center console. We have the, I don't even know what you would call it, the above cabin console, if that's the terminology, oh, that's what I'm going with. Um, we also have the monitor, which I'm excited to show you guys. Um, something cool with that, but we'll actually have to be driving for me to show you. If you take a look at the door panels, we got the red diamond stitching along with the red diamond stitching on the seats, which they also match back there in the back, which I believe Jimmy got a good glimpse of. Um, so, I mean, it's pretty cool in here. If it was my truck, I probably would have done the black diamond, but hey, I still like it. It's cool. We got the, uh, um, GMC floor mats up here. Everything in this thing just, it's fabulous. I mean, I wouldn't change it. Um, everything works. We have power windows, power door locks, uh, adjustable mirrors. Um, the heat and AC work, the radio works. So, I mean, it's it's just an all-around good, solid, classic truck. And like I said, guys, we're going to be driving it out throughout the day. So, I'll probably have Jimmy grab the camera, do a little uh, oh, driving montage so you guys can see it. And like I said, it is a little bumpy, but you're talking a, a big truck. And like I said, by the time you throw some weight on the back, I'm sure it probably levels out. But uh, let's go ahead, get this thing fired up, and I'm going to show you something cool with the display screen up here. guys so like i was saying something cool about this monitor is obviously when you flip on your turn signal you have a built-in camera obviously that is the left turn signal will go off camera goes off we flip on the right turn signal and it comes on so you can see down both sides of the truck when you're turning something that is super cool um, with the built-in little display here it definitely helps out when you're hauling a trailer and stuff so I just figured that was kind of cool to show you guys. But like I said, we're gonna do a little uh, driving here in the next couple hours. So stay tuned guys and we'll see you then.